You know, I understand that my last video was almost a year ago, but no, I'm not dead. Sorry to disappoint so many of you. Hey, I know what I can do to make up for it though. How's about a Nintendo Switch giveaway? Woo! That's right, you content-starved bastards! I'm giving away a free Nintendo Switch! Yeah, if there's one thing I've learned from this godforsaken industry, it's that if you're ever concerned about views, just buy them. There is a Gleam link in the description below, and you can enter the giveaway multiple times by going to my channel and subscribing to me, subscribing to my Let's Play channel, Friends Without Benefits, subscribing to my new second channel, Ouija Deluxe, following and retweeting me on Twitter, at Ouija the God, I don't know, liking the video, commenting, smashing the bell icon, whatever the people say. Look, just follow the Gleam link in the description and it'll tell you what to do. It's real simple. Good luck. And again, I hope this at least kind of makes up for the fact that I've been MIA for like a year. I apologize for that. I, I promise I actually have been working on stuff, just on stuff I'm not ready to make public yet. I, I, you're smart. You understand. Hey, by the way, thanks for understanding. Now then, with all of that being said, how about we start getting into what you actually clicked on the video for. Terry Bogard is out, and now this Mario over here can suck my hairy tonards with gout, but boom, we still got it, baby! Roll the intro, uh, my channel's not dead! It'll never die, I can't die! Now, as we all know, Sakurai, in a brazen act of cowardice, said on the record, quote, no anime titty allowed, you fucking degenerate scumbag guys. So unfortunately, instead of getting this or this, we got this. I mean, he is a big, beautiful, beefy unit in his own right, don't get me wrong, but he's not a character that I am particularly interested in slapping onto a body pillow and fantasizing about how perfect our life would be together if only they were real desperately and hopelessly wishing for that opportunity to someday come true. There's no joke at the end of this, I'm just so fucking lonely, bros. Call me a Vietnam veteran's worst nightmare because I'm coming from the trees! But hold on, what's this? Terry wears a black jacket and he even points with his finger? Yes, guys. Through hours of meticulous research and meditation, I have concluded definitively that this is in fact, prepare yourselves, a JoJo's reference. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you are all free to clap and laugh now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh my god, I can't believe it. They even got that one part from JoJo's when Jotaro was fighting a bear in a world entirely made of cardboard. Yeah, and then Jotaro totally hard reads his roll-in from Ledge and then says, Yeah, yeah, days. And then he kicked the fucking bear into outer space to join cars. Ooh, ooh, that was my favorite part of the show. That's great attention to detail, Sakurai. So here's the thing about Terry. He's He's not just a strong motherfucker, he's also motherfucking strong. Like, really strong. Like, so goddamn strong that he laughs in the face of your pathetic counters and kills you anyway just because he can! And of course, what kind of strong character would he be if he couldn't spike you down into the fiery pits of hell with the force of a thousand Mario forward aerials? Ah, shit, I misinputted. Uh, okay, there you go. Boom. Imagine that happened the first time. It would have it been a lot cooler. But wait. The fun doesn't stop there. As any supreme gentleman does, Terry embraces the pain he receives, letting it build up and fester inside of him until it reaches a boiling point and can be contained no longer. When you're above 100%, it becomes full-on Terry time, because now you can BUST A WOLF! It's so good. I love it so much. Like, just look at this dumb, dumb Mewtwo over here. Imagine sitting there charging a strong move when you can just do it, dude! Couldn't be me! Could literally never be me! Also, the fact that Terry politely asks, are you okay, before beating you harder than I beat my meat to Zelda Rule 34 has got to be the most deliciously BM thing in the entire game. Huh, Buster Wolf. More like bust a fat fucking nut over how amazing this move is. And the aforementioned Zelda porn. Oh, I'm sorry, what's that you say? You're a greedy little piggy who wants another incredibly powerful move to throw out when you're over 100%? Well, do I have the thing for you. Staying on the theme of busting fat nuts, you can blow the biggest load in the entire goddamn world with Power Geyser! 
It is huge, it is fast, it is strong. Hell, it even auto-aims for you thanks to Terry always facing his opponent. If at literally any point you're over 100% and don't know what to be doing, just spam the Power Geyser move and everything will work itself out. You know, assuming your tiny, malleable PP Smash Brothers brain can comprehend such convoluted and difficult button inputs, but you're watching me and definitely subscribe too, so I know you're really smart. Now let's not forget our fundamentals. The name of the game is Super Up B out of Shield Bros. You already know that Terry's got that good, good Up B. Using it makes you take off like a helicopter and simulates what would happen if your opponent jumped into a helicopter spinning blades. They die. A horrible death. That's what happens. Oh, Krom. I know you picked an anime sword fighter because you're a real glue-guzzling goober, but you can't just attack my shield all willy-nilly again and expect it to work this time. Listen, I'm sorry for ya, I feel bad for ya, here's a Buster Wolf, I'll let you die with some dignity. You know what this Isabel and my wife have in common? They're both a couple of bitches that deserve a good hard smack in the face, haha! -ha. Now hold on before you get mad at me for that, I'm obviously just joking. You guys know that I would never hurt a dog. It's the ultimate showdown. DLC character versus DLC character. Sword versus fist. Magic versus might. Well, I guess Terry is kind of magic as well. I mean, the guy shoots fire waves, for Christ's sake. Uh, you get my point, though. This is truly a battle of the ages. Ooh, I'm really tearing it up over here, if you know what I'm saying. You're in some serious trouble now, Mr. Hero. It'll take an awful lot of brain power and flawless gameplay to come back and win this battle. Yeah! You know, that works too. Wow, I can't believe this video is already over six minutes long. That's a how-to first! Don't get used to it. You all know I have enough trouble making these as is. Well, that's all for Terry. He's freaking epic. Thank you all for watching. Good luck in my giveaway. Hey, happy Thanksgiving, by the way. And I will see you all in next week's video. Or next month's video. Hell, maybe next year's video. It's kind of impossible to tell with me, you know. Okay, goodbye!